This is Single Pack Link. To learn more about the Game Boy Advance Single Pack multiplayer functionality, such as how to connect compatible games with GBA Link cables, be sure to check out my how-to video, link in the description. Disney Party on GBA is a terrible Mario Party clone that contains four Single Pack Link minigames for up to four players. By default, the only minigame immediately available is Bumper Cars. From a top-down view, each player controls a bumper car with awkward tank controls where up on the D-pad makes you move forward while holding A warms up a boost attack. The goal is to bump your opponent into one of the four holes in the corner of the screen. Yeah, it's not really that great and not worth the hassle of connecting link cables. However, Cannonball, Balloon Burst, and Rocket Ship become unlocked only after suffering through the tedious and pointless single player mode. I'll spare you the details, but holy cow is the single player mode awful. Cannonball might be the most fun multi-boot mode available. It's basically a shooting gallery where each player must launch cannonballs at moving targets to score points. Just keep in mind that the ships shoot back, but instead of losing health, players will be stunned so they can't shoot back if they don't duck out of the way. It's a little weird because the game just ends when it wants to, and it doesn't seem to be time or point based. But when it does conclude, players face off against a boss battle with Pirate Pete. This minigame isn't anything super special, but I do like it better than the lame bumper cars. Balloon Burst, the third minigame, it's like Balloon Fight only without as much fun. From a single screen, the goal is to be the last man standing against an ever increasing number of evil sparks that want to pop your balloon. The flight flaps are weighted a little weirdly so it doesn't have that smooth finesse of Balloon Fight or even Joust in comparison. I don't hate it, but other classic games have done it better. Finally, Rocket Ship is a clone of Bumper Cars, only worse. Instead of having four holes in the corner of the screen, there's one black hole in the center. You don't want to go in that hole, but you want to smack your opponents into it. You get three lives and there's a button for a protective shield move, but I couldn't tell the difference when it was or wasn't active. This is the worst of the four available minigames. Besides forcing the player to grind the single player mode to unlock these extra minigames, the worst part is restarting the GBAs. If you want to switch games, you'll need to restart all involved GBAs including the host, which is annoying especially since the games aren't exactly the highest quality. On the plus side, each game has its own soundtrack and each tune isn't that bad, something unique for a single pack experience. Disney Party was EA's attempt to steal some of that Mario Party mojo, but wound up releasing a very subpar product. Having four different minigames is pretty cool and thoughtful, even though two of them are basically the same game, it just sucks that players have to grind the god-awful single-player mode to unlock them. Instead of being a magical kingdom of minigames, GBA players were instead treated to a John Carter quality handheld release. So, what do you think? Did you play Disney Party and live to tell the tale? Were you also let down with the Disney Epic Mickey games, or do you want to see Final Fantasy characters return in Kingdom Hearts 4? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this single pack link coverage, be sure to check out all my other multi-boot based videos right here in my dedicated playlist. Until next time, thank you for watching and game on.